Hey, what's up guys? Huli here back with Profound Image Consulting. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a great day as always. Here on this channel, we talk about everything men's image, style, and character development. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go and subscribe down below for future videos and content like the one you're about to see. Also, don't forget to give me a like down below as it helps the channel grow. Also, link down in the description is my Instagram where you can go and follow me. I post similar content like this and also some pictures that serves as motivation and inspiration for you guys. Now, in today's video, we are talking about how you can build a core wardrobe easily. If that sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to cover before we go over the core principles of building a solid wardrobe easily is to understand that a great wardrobe gets built over time. You just aren't going to be able to figure out your entire personal style in one get go. Over time, you will see that your style and image begin to change and you'll start to adapt different articles of clothing and accessories, which in the long run, play a big role in developing your character. All right, now that we got that out of the way, the first tip in building a wardrobe easily is to adapt basic colors. Now, we can all agree that neutrals play a big role in the beginning stages of any man's wardrobe, and it's because neutrals go well with just about any other secondary color. Therefore, you wanna make sure that you go out and pick up your basic neutrals, like black, you have white, you have gray, you have olive, you even have beige in there. These are all great neutrals that serve as a great foundation in the beginning stages of any man's wardrobe, especially when you're developing your style and image. And just another quick thing to understand, guys, don't let anyone ever tell you that neutrals are just a seasonal thing. Neutrals can be worn all year round in any season. Not only that, but they're even interchangeable. All right, guys, now the second tip in building a wardrobe easily is to focus on versatile items. I can't tell you the endless number of patterns, textures, and colors that you can combine with just a few simple items. Listen to me when I say that you do not have to have your closet filled with pointless items, thinking that one day maybe you might just be wearing this or maybe you might be wearing that because it's not going to happen. Instead of having 15 different types of t-shirts, why not just have maybe seven types of different t-shirts that can effectively be worn with other items. If you want a quick tip, guys, take this one. If you aren't wearing a certain article of clothing for more than one season, get rid of it. Throw it, donate it, or pass it down. Just get it out of your closet or wardrobe. It's gonna take unnecessary space and create much more of a headache for you, especially when you're getting up on a day-to-day -day basis and trying to figure out what to wear and it's just not gonna be making things a lot easier for you. So in short, go for colors, patterns, and textures that are versatile. They're gonna help you create an interchangeable wardrobe. And if you're not sure how to do that and you want some help, go check out in the description down below and check out one of my virtual services called Closet Checkup where I help you assess your current wardrobe and actually help you uplift it. All right guys, now the third tip in building your wardrobe easily is to invest in quality items. Now this may seem contradicting in the sense that when you're first starting to build out your wardrobe and your closet, you may not have a lot of money to invest. Hear me out, take it from someone who has been there and done that. Buying cheap clothes, and I mean really cheap clothes, are a waste of money. You're gonna end up purchasing that article of clothing, maybe wear it once, two, or three times, and after several washes, you'll notice that they no longer feel the same, they no longer fit the same, and they no longer look the same. Take your time when building your wardrobe so you can invest in quality items that will save you money in the long run. You're gonna be able to notice a difference and they will too. All right guys, the fourth tip and final tip to help you build a wardrobe easily is to have patience. As I said earlier in the video, it takes time to build a great quality and solid wardrobe. This is not something that you can cheat yourself in the sense that you wanna go out and buy out the entire store. You're either one, going to be wasting a lot of money or two, you're gonna end up with buyer's remorse and instantly have regret. Have patience guys and remember to keep an eye out 
for sales going on in your favorite stores, especially during the holiday times. That way you can actually purchase that quality item that maybe at one point you weren't able to afford, but now that you can, it's gonna be a great article of clothing that you can have in your wardrobe. All right guys, that does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys got something out of it. As always, if you did, make sure you go down and give me a like down below as it helps the channel grow. Subscribe to the channel for more future videos and content like the one that you just saw and hit the notification bell to be notified when my videos do post. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.